Adding a subtitle to a visual is a really neat feature. It allows you to add an extra piece of information below the title that can really help improve the comprehension of the visualization. So in this video, I'm going to look at five examples of how you might want to use these subtitles. Okay, so let's get started. So the first one I'm going to cover is really just to use a subtitle as an extension of the description of the visual. So in this example here, we've got a, a bar chart with safety environment production routine and it's, it's PM compliance. Now, PM compliance is something that often needs a little bit of an extra explanation as to exactly what it is and how it's measured. So the first example here is going to be to add a subtitle here that's going to add a little bit of an explanation to this. So I'm going to go in to the visualization options. I'm going to go to general titles and if we just collapse that under here we've now got these three options here. Now this was added during the March 2023 update to Power BI. So if you've got an earlier version, then you won't see this. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add in the, the subtitle. I'm going to switch it on. And we've got this option here just simply to add an extra piece of text here. So I'm going to go and add in some text. Okay, so percentage of PM type work orders due and completed in the current month. Now obviously you can go in and you can see that it's possible to change the font, whether it's bold, italic, underlined, the color and the, the alignment here, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is for just now. So this just adds a little bit of extra information related to the contents of the chart. So the second example that we're gonna cover is to add some dynamic text into the subtitle. And in this example here, we're gonna create some text that's going to provide an explanation of the difference between the backlog at the start and the end of this period and whether it has increased or decreased. So we're starting to get into telling a little bit of a dynamic story and putting words or using words to explain something that's already in this chart but making it explicitly obvious and easy for the reader to comprehend. So let's go and we'll do that. So I'm going to go in to the subtitle again And we can see that there is the option to dynamically build this text using a measure. So the measure that I've used for this text here is this one here. So all I'm doing here is I'm calculating the start date, I'm calculating the end date, I am looking at the bat log at the start date, I'm looking at the bat log at the end date, and then calculating the difference between the end date and the start date. And then we're going to change that into some text that's going to indicate that whether it's increased or decreased over that date. Then I'm going to go and based on the difference, whether it's an increase or decrease, we're going to create a, an arrow. And then we're just going to pull it all together and we're going to create a string that gives us a little bit of a summary of the difference and whether it was up or down. So I'm going to click on the FS button here and then we're going to go and select that measure. Okay, so we can see the backlog hours decreased by 1,563 during hours during the period. Now that's pulled that string together and if we go in here and we change some of these values here, that's decreased, that's increased, we can see that all those changes and the words change there just to reflect the fact that it's increased or decreased. Now we're going to go a little step further here and I'm going to actually add in some conditional formatting too. So I've created a conditional formatting measure. So here's this conditional format and measure here. We've got the start date, the end date, so we're, we're really reusing a lot of this stuff from the previous um, measure that we used to, to look at the, the start and the end and the difference etc. But the only difference with this one here is that at the end, if the difference is greater than zero, we're returning this hex code here that's going to drive the colour, otherwise we're just going to return a blank. So I'm going to use that to go into the colour here Choose field value, I'm going to enter the measure here. And we can see now that that is red if it's increased. And it's just a non-formatted colour if it has decreased over the period. So that's now starting to tell a little bit of a story and it's um, and it's dynamic as well, which is great when you add filters or to your, to your visualisation. So that's example number two. So next example number three, which is really similar to example number two in that we're creating a, a piece of dynamic text. However, what we've done in this example here is I've actually added the title 
as being the actual dynamic text and we've used the subtitle as the chart title here. So sometimes it can be useful to start off with the headline figure that says the backlog hours decreased by 1,563 during the period. Now that's particularly important if you've got, you want to call out the fact that, that something has actually has been drawn attention to the fact that it's actually increased. Okay, so it's not a good story here. And that's going to be the headline figure when somebody comes in and starts to look at that visualization. So all we've done there is rather than use the conditional formatting on the subtitle, I've used it on the title here. Okay, and the same with the color conditional format in there. And then the subtitle is acting as the chart title here that just explains that this is backlog hours trend. So it's pretty similar to example number two, but we just switch the title and the subtitle around. Okay, so moving on to example number four is where we could use the subtitle to display a target. Okay, so sometimes we've got an example where we've got a card here and it's got a value there, but we want to put a bit of context around it to see whether that's a good or bad value. So we, we need a target. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in a, a measure here that's going to create a string that explains the target and also the difference between the current value and the target. So I'm going to switch the subtitle on here. And we can see we've already got that subtitle there. I'm just going to go and explain the measure here. So backlog work count production. Okay, so to set the target and or the text that explains the target, I've created this measure here. So what we're doing here is we are formatting the actual target value that we've already got here um, as thousands. So it's got a comma if it's got thousands. And then we're going to go and look at the difference and make sure that if it's a plus, we use a plus. If it's a minus, we use a minus because that's going to be what we're going to prefix the difference between the target and the actual value with. And then we're going to create a string here that's basically going to tell us the target, the target value, which has already been formatted here, and then the difference between the current value and the target value. So we add that in here as our subtitle. Okay, so I've already added that into there. And we can see that that value is there now. And you can add conditional format on it if you want to as well, just to highlight it as being read, for example, if it's above the target um, or, or leave it as it is for below the target. But for this example here, we're just going to leave it as it is just now. We can see the target's 1,000 and we're plus 46 above that target value there. So that's the fourth example, using it to display a target value. Okay, so the fifth and final option that I've got in this video is to use the subtitle feature to explain some of the functionality that's available within the particular visual. So uh, there's been lots of instances where somebody that's been using the visual hasn't realized that there's either a drill through or a tooltip available when you hover over the value. So you could use it for either one of these. The one I'm going to explain here is going to be to hi highlight or draw attention to the fact that there is a, a tooltip or a hover over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into title and I'm going to switch on the subtitle. Okay, now I've already added the text in here. The only extra feature I've got here is that I've lightened the color. And the other thing I've done is I've added in this this info button here or info icon here. Now I got that just by searching for unichur.app and I just did a search for info and all I've done is just copied this and pasted it directly into the actual measure. Okay so the other thing I've done here is when it comes to spacing I've actually increased the spacing. I've switched this customized spacing on and I've increased the spacing below the title here. The maximum you can increase that to is 10. But I think it it helps to separate this subtitle here and associate more with the visual than with the actual main title there because it's a, a piece of instruction or an extra piece of information explaining how to, to use the visual. And then if you hover over here, we can see that it's got a tooltip that displays extra information. So that's the fifth and final one. A bit of extra information on how to use the, the visual. Hover over the value to display more details. Okay, so there is the subtitle, a really, really useful feature, really simple, really straightforward, but really powerful. So hopefully 
you have got some ideas of your own and please feel free to leave them in the comments if there's anything additional to the five ideas that I've um, covered in this video. And if you found it useful, it's always much appreciated and would help me out a, lo a lot if you give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos I release, then hit the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever I release a new video. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.